and welcome to Trash Talk on Battle Group, where I will be talking about the various ship hulls you could put in your fleet in Lancer Battle Group, and in this episode, we will be talking about the carriers, part 1. Carriers in Lancer Battle Group are actually close range combat vessels that excel at being around range 2 or 3, due to the fact that the sheer distance involved in a typical naval battle would mean that travel time for escorts and fighter to go back and forward would take way too long. You also get to have two carriers max per battle group, so they are somewhat expendable compared to the really big ship, on top of that, each carrier gets to have three free points to spend on escorts or wings, so you can really afford the more expensive options. The GMS carriers, like their frigate's counterparts, are very average but still very useful vessels that can be slotted into any battle group easily, they are also quite cheap at 4 points each, you will also notice that while carriers are a tad more fragile than frigate, they are a lot harder to be hit thanks to their higher defense, which don't matter to missiles so look out for them. The Amazon is a carrier good at one thing, all the fighters, you get 4 goddamn wing slots, enough for any crazy ideas you could think of, and on top of that, thanks to its straight, rapid printing, you don't have 3 free points, you have bloody 4 to spend on your wings, and that's a lot of wings, you also have a limited system that can be used to fully repair any wing, even when they are destroyed, so you always have fighters no matter what, unless the ship exploded. Also, here's one thing you should remember, wings are not affected by area target damage at all, so despite their low health, they can be quite resilient. Actually, two things you should remember, while Legion Drone Nexus, Fighter Wing, and Bomber Wing seems very boring compared to having goddamn Barbarossa Chassis Wing, they can double stack, Legion Drone and Fighter get to have an additional wing to do more stuff with within the same tactic, while Bomber can add in another Bomber Wing for more damage. So, those four wing slots, they aren't just for show at all, you can really use all the wings at once with double tactics. The Tongass is instead a support carrier focused on getting escorts, two slots of it to be exact, it also has two auxiliary for some supportive firepower too, escorts, such as corvettes, destroyers, and cruisers, while vulnerable to area target damage, can be very powerful offensive and defensive asset when used right, while others can be quite dangerous on their own, or just good at supporting others, they are called escorts after all. There's a reason why even for carrier, you will only see at max two escort slots in a ship, but don't worry, Tongass has a trait called close support, so any battle group within the same range band can also use its escorts, so even if it doesn't have the tactics to utilize its own escorts, other nearby battle group can do that for it. Remember, sharing isn't just caring, it will also kill your enemy dead. Onto the Harrison Armory Carrier, there's just one, the Farragut, which funny enough, with how specialized the Armory Frigate are, the Farragut are designed to be modular instead for any situation, with an additional slot that can be used for auxiliary, system, wing, or escort. While it is a tad more expensive than the GMS Carrier at 5 point, it is a more flexible design and it's straight, Fleet Coordinator, allows for a single frigate to screen for two ships at once, meaning two big capitals would benefit from the protection, and it will keep the capitals alive longer for sure, especially the battleship. And that's basically it for the three carriers I have reviewed, from the Amazon that will rain a constant stream of wings, the Tongass that can support its allies well with its escorts, and the Farragut that can coordinate the fleet for optimum defense. Anyway, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.